What's up you guys, it's Keith from Stock Hours here doing another live trade recap. This video is going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to be able to just let the trade play out because this clip as a whole is a lot longer than I would want it to be for a YouTube video. This is a day where I went from negative 300 on the day to positive 300 on the day. Everybody has red days, red trades. Um, this just happens to be one of those days and I got one of those on recording so we're just gonna go over that here um, you'll see first I'm looking at 203 here on Tesla and I'm looking to play that into the 202 break 20561 is what I really wanted as an entry but we push below that level right at market open so that was way too quick of a move for me to be able to take advantage of that. So I was waiting for a setup close to 203. So you'll see I took my first position right here at this low. You can see I just bought three contracts. I'm looking to play this through the 203 break into the 202 break. Now you can see we broke below, we wicked back above, and you can see here this 15 minute uptrend is pretty important. Now we did end up wicking back above 203 on this candle. In hindsight, I probably should have just cut the trade here because we are also getting a push on NQ. Um, I was trying to gauge Tesla's weakness compared to NQ because that big of a push on NQ did not really affect Tesla that much but you can see here we did end up pushing all the way back up to this 205.50 level and I ended up stopping out right here as we pushed back above that 205.61 pre-market level that I was looking at. Um, right now it's acting as resistance, but I was using a break of that resistance as my stop loss. And you'll see that come in here in just a second. So yeah, you can see we closed above 205, continued that push, and boom, right as soon as we broke that level, I was out. So you can see um, realized gain for the day, negative $306.10. So I still like this setup, especially given the fact that the main reason that that Tesla trade did not work out the first time is because NQ is pushing hard against us. So you can see I am in here again with three contracts and I will just go ahead and zoom through some of this because Tesla started to consolidate between that 202 low and this 205.61 level. Now since I saw how we reacted at that 205.61 level the first time I wanted to see a candle close above that level for my stop loss on this portion of the trade because last time we wicked above came right back down even with NQ pushing it was worth it to me to use a close above 205.61 as my stop loss because you can see right here we wicked back below extremely hard we ended up closing below that level we tested it again rejected off of it again and now we're coming back down for that low. And then you can see here, when we finally got a red candle on NQ, we were getting close to making new lows here on Tesla. And now we broke 203. Now what we need to see is a close below 203 so we can get that continuation into that 202 um, 180 day low. So we broke low a day right here. Now we're coming for 202. All right, now I wanna pause right here because you can see my level two down here in the bottom left corner. And you should be able to see the size. You can see the size of all of these orders here at 
less important levels. And then you can see right here at 202, boom, the size 29,000. That means there are 29,000 orders that need to be executed at that level before we can continue through 202. So what you need to see is volume kick up and you'll be able to see these orders getting executed here on time and sales. So when we come for that low, you'll see as we come for that low, NQ is dropping, Tesla's still doing its thing here. A red candle on Tesla while NQ has a green candle. So Tesla's showing a little bit of weakness here. So when you see 202 flat on the bid, you'll start seeing all of these orders getting executed on level two or on time and sales. So right there, you'll see that wall will disappear on level two, and you'll see all of those orders being executed right here on time and sales. So just watch. Boom, that wall is gone. Now we've cleared that level. So now what I'm looking for is a close below 202. And we really have room all the way down to the 200 break. So I scaled out of half of my position here on the 201 break. Let's see, I have three contracts ready to sell. My mouse is hovering over my sell button. We continue that push through 201. And now boom, right there. Scaled out a half of my position. Now my realized gain for the day is minus 74. And I'm still up $230 on this position right now. And this is the big wall that you will be able to watch chip on level two and time and sales. Um, the other one jumped straight through. But this one is such a large wall that it has to retest it multiple times just to be able to get all of those orders filled to break through 200. So if you once again look down here at level two, the bottom left corner, you'll see 118,000 orders are sitting right here at 200, getting ready to be executed. And you'll see that wall kick up even more as we get closer to 200. Now you see it's 121,000 orders there that need to be executed to be able to break through this support. And I want you guys to watch here on time and sales. And you can see all of the orders that come in that are just 200 flat. And you can watch this number get smaller and you can watch all of the orders being executed on time and sales here. So it's kind of cool. It's not very often that you see a wall that big and you get to watch it um, get executed. We're at $200 and four cents on the bid. You can already see a lot of sell orders coming in. And wow, watch that volume pick up right there. You see the big red volume bar all of those orders getting executed 200 flat and you can watch this wall get smaller so we're at 121,000 114,000 now and we bounce 200 flat on the bid now you can watch those orders get executed again and you can watch this wall get smaller and smaller now we're gonna need to see a lot of volume again for them to be able to break this wall 106,000 105, 102,000, 90,000 orders left, and boom, it just got chipped. We broke by one penny, but you can see that whole entire wall get executed there. So we broke by one cent, and now I'm really just looking to see what kind of move we can get from that 200 break here because regardless, I can close my position right now and be green on the day, but boom. We flip back green to red. I'm scaling out of one contract here. And now I have my last contract. I'm up enough on this contract, and I'm once again green on the day now. 
So I would like to see the continuation we get because Tesla has shown clear weakness, was in consolidation for a while, which was annoying, but now we're broken out of that consolidation and we've broken the important levels that we needed to break. So now I'm really just looking to see where we can really go with this trade. Dropped all the way down to 199 on that candle. And if I remember right, I think I sold on the 199 break here. Yeah, I exited my last contract here on the 199 break. Now I'm up $277.75 for the day. I finished the day off there. And yeah, that was a different video. I hope you guys enjoyed it though. If you're having trouble reading level two, um, I would suggest try recording your trades and look them back over and just see what's going on with um, level two and time and sales while you're in your trades. So you can go back and analyze each individual piece of your trade. You can go back and analyze the level two and then rewatch that part and analyze, well, what was time and sales doing throughout that? And then what was the volume doing throughout that? What about ES and NQ? What were they doing throughout that time as well? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something from it. Um, if you did, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notifications. Hope you guys have a good rest of your week. Peace.